this is our last sampling technique, and that's convenient sampling. This is probably uh, the most dangerous, but it's probably also the most easy type of sampling to, to conduct. Convenient sampling, let me give you an example of a few examples of convenient sampling. One example of convenient sampling could be an online poll. Uh, you go to a website, you've seen it all the time, and off to the side it asks you uh, which video game are you most excited to buy this holiday season? And of course everybody chooses some type of Halo game most likely. Um, well, maybe not, but that's the one I would choose, <laughs> just in case you're wondering. Um, but an online poll would ask you, you know, which, which team do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? And they list three or four teams, um, and you choose which team you think is going to, to win the Super Bowl. That's convenient sampling, um, online polls. Another type of convenient sampling is to just go around and survey your best friends, or survey everybody at your lunch table or survey the people that live on your just your street. Um, it's convenient because it's easy to do. And there's no system to it. And the, the reason why it's most dangerous is it might not give you a good representation of your population. I'll talk about that a little bit more in a second. Um, but another example of convenient sampling might be asking for volunteers at the mall. You guys have all seen it. Uh, you're walking through the mall and there's a person with a clipboard and they're the type of people that you try to avoid most of the time at the mall because you don't want to stand there for four or five minutes and, and get interviewed by them. But that's convenience sampling because they're just trying to ask people. Um, the reason that convenience sampling is dangerous is because when we collect a sample, we want the sample... go back and spell that right, we want the sample to represent the population. That's the purpose of, of, of collecting a sample, is we want the sample to represent the population. And one of the things that helps the sample to represent the population is random randomization randomization we want to randomize things in order to get a good representation of the population we want our we want to randomize our sample to get a good representation of the population i'll say that one more time it's very important we use randomization so that our sample gives us a good representation of the population well convenience sampling doesn't randomize things Online polls doesn't randomize anything. Surveying your best friends doesn't randomize anything. Asking for volunteers at the mall isn't a good randomization uh, or a good way to randomize your sample. So that's why convenience sampling is the most dangerous. It might be the easiest, but it's also very dangerous. So once again, very important, we randomize things in simple random sampling or stratified sampling or cluster sampling. And we even randomize to a certain extent in systematic sampling. So we randomize things so that our sample can represent the population.